Chris Parks here with Atlantic Coast Mortgage, and today I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about a 2-1 buy-down. That seems to be a very popular conversation right now in the marketplace, and so I'm just going to spend a little bit of time making sure that you kind of know what you're getting into when you're doing a 2-1 buy-down. Let's just example, uh, start putting together a very common scenario of what's happening. We've got a home that uh, the seller wants to sell and the buyer wants to uh, buy. And in this case, you can see my seller right here. He is looking for somebody to buy and we have a buyer who is very interested in buying this home. The really big challenge with it is that we currently have an interest rate at about, I'm gonna just use six and a half percent just for illustrative purposes right now. It's all over the place. But that's a six and a half percent that we're working with right now. With the concept of a two one buy down, there are some points where this can actually be beneficial both to the seller and also to the purchaser. And it's really gonna come down to making sure that it works for both parties. Because in essence, the seller is going to take and give a seller concession of some money to help with this buy down. Because theoretically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be in essence, buying the rate down to four and a half percent. Now that's gonna alter your payments for quite a bit of time is what it's going to do, but this two one buy down is you're buying it down for two, two full percentage points, but it's going to readjust every year. So in essence, what's gonna happen is the first year you're going to be at the four and a half percent, and then on the second year, it's going to step up to the five and a half percent okay and then at the end of year two it's going to go up to the full market value of the six and a half percent so you really need to be able to understand that you really have to qualify at that six and a half percent so even though that is going to be something that we're trying to help you get out of uh, in essence you need to make sure that you can feel comfortable if needed, uh, making that payment at that six and a half percent, because as you see right here, it is going to stair step and go up. Now the function behind this of how this works is it has to come in the form of a seller concession. Now the seller concessions in the past, what these have been is the seller giving you money for closing costs or giving you money because of repairs or other items like that. In this case, that money would have to be used towards um, the seller concessions would have to be used towards the rate. And the only way that this can be done right now is either through the seller conceding the money or a combination of the seller and the agents conceding the money. That's kind of how it works. Now, the way that this ends up working is, is that the seller would concede this money to help the buyer, and this money is going to, in essence, go over to the buyer, and but it's not going directly to the buyer, it's going to go into what's called an escrow account. And so that money is going to sit in this escrow account over here because what they're in essence going to be doing is when I lock the loan, I am truly locking it at the six and a half percent. The detail with it is, is that we're going to be using that money to subsidize the payment. So even though the true payment is going to be based off of the six and a half percent, that money is going to be used every month to keep that money coming and make sure that the payments for the first 12 months are going to be at the lower 4.5% range. Now, as that money exhausts itself, then we're going to be moving it up to the 5.5% is kind of what you're seeing right here. And then eventually it will go up to the 6.5%. Now, the real goal with this is that hopefully we're going to be seeing the rates subside and we're gonna see some rates come down in the very near future to actually making it more beneficial for you. And so this is a short term fix to help you feel comfortable with buying the homes, get the seller out of the fix that he's in, get you the help to, to, to keep you in the market and actually help you buy a home, Just take advantage of the lower rate for that period of time and hopefully, hopefully refi before we end at the target date 24 months later. Now, this is certainly some risk in this and you need to be very aware of how this functions, but it does function very well as long as you understand what it is that you're getting into. 
Just keep in mind that the real goal is to help you refinance this property within 24 months. Hope this has helped you make a good decision for you and your family. Chris Parks with Atlantic Coast Mortgage. I look forward to serving you and yours.